How's it going everyone, this is Tom with Jailbreak Nation. Today we're going to take a look at some Mountain Lion tips and tricks. Now, uh, the main features of Mountain Lion were all kind of guns blazing, things like notification center, and many things like that. However, I'm just going to show you a few of the little kind of uh, nuances in Mountain Lion that I've picked up through my usage of it. And the first one is uh, hot corners for notification center. Now, a few of you may know that if you use a trackpad, you can just swipe on the trackpad like so. I actually use a trackpad, but this is going to be very useful for people who don't have a trackpad and would otherwise have to go up to this button up here and maybe tap it uh, just like so to invoke notification center. However, if we just head into system preferences here, just like so, uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to search hot corners. So that is in the desktop and screen uh, desktop and screensaver section. So we're going to press that. Then we're going to go down to hot corners just here. So as you can see here, you get a little kind of active screen corners thing. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into the top right. And you can do this in any corner. I just find that top right works best. And we're going to put notification center. So what we're going to do is then we're going to press OK. And then every time we go up to into this corner, if we just, uh, you can see that it invokes notification center just when you kind of slide your mouse over into that area. I'm not clicking, as you can see there. Very, very handy and very good for people who don't have a trackpad on their computer. The next is the ability to tweet from notification center. And I'm sure most of you know this. I just thought that I would highlight it as it is a pretty prominent feature. So what we're going to do is we're going to slide out. And as you can see, I have the click to tweet option. So if we wanted to tweet test here and then send it, it would indeed turn up on my Twitter feed. If I just went into here, uh, no, wrong Twitter feed. Um, to the top as you can see it says test there nice and easy from my twitter account which is at tom rich underscore uh, at tom underscore rich underscore if you want to follow me uh, anyway so the next on one is to um run apps by control so basically uh security keeper or gatekeeper whatever they're calling it uh, in mountain lion will stop you running applications downloaded from the internet. Now in many situations this is good uh, and for general users this is good but for people who want to tweak their computer a little bit more this is probably not the best feature. So if we're going to head you can of course uh, change your settings but it is good because you might be installing an application which you just don't even know you're installing and there's many situations where you don't want to install these. So I've downloaded an application here as you can see I've downloaded coconut battery. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold control and I have my security gatekeeper whatever uh, set to uh, not install anything downloaded from the internet but if I press control and open it so you hold control you can see that it gets um, coconut batteries and application downloaded it are you sure you want to open it normally it would just say um, you know it can't do this or whatever so um, that's a really handy feature if you just want to overrule that kind of system function there. The next is the ability to pin a note. So if I just go into my notes app, and as you can see, here is the uh, the tips and tricks which I'm currently reading from on my iPad. But if you want me to uh, pin a note like you could in the Stickies application on previous versions of Mac OS X, you can just double click this. I didn't know about this, but I had to, I just found it kind of by playing around. But as you can see, that is its own little kind of pinned. You can resize this, uh, do whatever you want with it, and that will stay on your desktop. Uh, obviously, of course, if you were to close this, it does close, but it's nice that you can pin it and doesn't have to stay within the whole application itself. The next is the ability to edit a image within preview. So if we head into preview here, uh, let's just open up this picture of the iPhone 5 uh, mod that we downloaded for a video the other day. Uh, you can see that we have the button, which I believe was already in here, but you get the ability to edit quite extensively uh, with these pictures. So if we just head up this little button here, you can see, oh no, not that one, uh, which is this one. <laughs> you can see that we get the exposure we can change the exposure levels. You can even change the levels of the actual picture itself. Normally, you'd have to have some sort of application like uh, Photoshop or something like that. It's quite an intensive editor in built into Preview. So that's very, very handy and really useful for people who want to do quick editing on the go from their computer without editing something in like Photoshop or something more extensive like that. Your next is the ability to add dashboard folders. So if we just head over to the dashboard here, 
you can see we have our various widgets. However, if we go into this little kind of thing right here, uh, you can see that here are the kind of a launch pad system of widgets. They never used to have this before. But if, for example, we wanted to uh, maybe turn weather and web clip into a folder, you could do that. And that is a new feature in the dashboard. Very, very handy. So you can add groups of particular widgets together. The next one is the ability to enable the zoom back. So if I just hold my control uh, bar and then scroll in on my trackpad, you can see that you actually get the ability to zoom in uh, on a subject where your cursor is. So that's really handy for accessibility features. However, it was in default, it's turned off by Mountain Line. So if we just go ahead and go into system preferences once again, and we're just going to go ahead and search for accessibility just like that and then you get the ability to um, where is it use scroll gesture with modify keys to zoom and as you can see I have the control function ticked that will also be ticked off but it's very handy and you can just do that nice and easy and then finally the final feature we're going to take a look at is the ability to hide alerts and banners so if we just swipe notification center this is a very hidden uh, function actually and you probably wouldn't find this unless you were told by somebody but as you can see if we just click just above the click to tweet option here uh, you click there you get the ability to turn off the show alerts and banners so if we turn that off it's much like the do not disturb function it will say will resume tomorrow and when next the next day it will turn on this function by automatic uh, and you can obviously uh, get start receiving alerts and banners but that was just a quick look at some functions and features I found in Mountain Lion some of the lesser known features some of them were a little bit more uh, known like the tweet from notification center but I just thought I'd share with them with you so let me know what you think about this in the comment section did it help you would you like me to do more videos like this all of that kind of thing this has been Tom with Jailbreak Nation